Hello everybody and what is going on? So today I thought it would be a good idea to do another weekly outfits video. Which one are we on now? We've done one, two, three. We're on our fourth weekly outfits video. For those who don't know what a weekly outfits video is, I basically document all of the clothes that I've been wearing from Monday to Friday. Just to show you man what I wear on a daily basis. A weekly outfits video is basically a cross between a lookbook and a how I style video. So if you're sort of like bringing them both together, not quite as glamorous as a lookbook, not quite as technical as a how I style video, but just somewhere nice in, in the middle. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Monday's outfit. So in Monday's outfit, I decided to wear a black Nike sweatshirt. This one's an XL and I got it from Sports Direct quite some time ago. Now, the good thing about this sweatshirt is the fact that it's plain. So I'm a firm believer in less is more. A plain black sweatshirt, you can't get more less than more than that. And I think this black Nike sweatshirt does that really, really well. So I decided to wear this Nike sweatshirt with a pair of wide leg ASOS trousers. I tucked in the sweatshirt into the trousers just to try something out. And to be fair, I am really happy with the results. I've only just started experimenting with tucking in sweatshirts, but so far so good. Quite happy with this fit. I like the way the sweatshirt gives a little bit of a muffin top and the entire bagginess of the outfit is exaggerated by the wide leg trousers as well. Paired it with some white socks because bless his cotton socks and to top it all off I wore my black Nike GTS's side now I recently cleaned them big up the Crep Protect Cure kit you're done now not a paid endorsement but yes I specifically chose the Nike GTS's because it's pretty much an all black shoe with a white sole it's got the small Nike swoosh on the side which I think matches the Nike sweatshirt really really well I mean come on those two items of clothing look like they're made for each other is the shoe an item of clothing Probably. So yes, in my personal opinion, I thought that Monday's look was a solid outfit, all black for that gloomy Monday. It's just an outfit that matched my mood completely. Moving on to Tuesday. So with Tuesday, I wanted to add a little bit of color. So I wore my Palace Tri Smoke t-shirt, extra large as well, and I tucked it into a pair of super bright orange Supreme cargoes. Now, I don't often talk about the Supreme cargoes. I think the last time anyone saw these cargoes was in my very first lookbook. Since the lookbook, it's just sort of been gathering dust. So I thought, you know what, yeah, you spend 118 pounds on a pair of cargo bottoms, you have to wear them at least twice. And that's exactly what we did. When I first bought these cargoes, I wasn't a massive fan of them. I had one look in my head and I thought, yeah, that's sick. But then when I completed the look for the lookbook video, I didn't really have much use for it until now. Now, so we've got the white palace tee, bright orange supreme cargoes, and to top it all off, I wore some grey Air Max 95s. So again, these Air Max 95s are one of those things in my wardrobe that doesn't get a lot of air time or a lot of outside time in general. But when I wore these Air Max 95s again, I was automatically reminded on why I loved them in the first place. They're a super comfy shoe, super stylish shoes. It just screams 90s, early 2000s. Side note, the 95s are also called the 110s because I used to cost 110 pounds. Trivial road band history, but yes, I believe that Tuesday's outfit ties together really, really well. I chose not to use a lot of colors on purpose simply because the bright orange is more than enough color for one outfit. A lot of people say that these bright orange cargoes make you look like you've just escaped from prison, but that's cultural conditioning. You've got to avoid that. So Tuesday's outfit done. Moving on to Wednesday. So with Wednesday's outfit, I decided to class it up a little bit, but to keep my own personal style in there as well. So on the top end of this outfit, we've got a high neck turtleneck neck, roll neck, whatever neck, Marks and Spencer's sweatshirt with an Alpha Industries MA1 flight jacket. And on the bottom end of this outfit, I wore a pair of pleated ASOS trousers with the Deodora N9000s. So yeah, I believe that Wednesday's outfit does have a little bit of class, more because of the turtleneck really. But of course, I had to add my own little bit of personal style to it. I could have worn like a long coat or something to match the classiness of the turtleneck. But I thought, nah, 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 I don't play them games. So I just threw on my green Alpha Industries jacket and I think the green and the brown complement each other really, really well. And keeping in theme with being classy but keeping to my personal style, the ASOS pleated trousers really tied together the outfit and of course the Deodora N9000s just because they look retro and they're a neutral color-ish. In my personal opinion, I think that Wednesday's outfit is the best color-coded outfit of the week and this particular outfit stays in constant rotation. Moving on to Thursday's outfit. So with Thursday's outfit, I decided to bring it back. We was classy on Wednesday, but 
we're done with that now. That was yesterday. So on Thursday, I decided to take it easy. It was one of those days where I wasn't really in the mood to dress to impress or anything like that. I just wanted to be comfortable, but to be somewhat presentable when you go outside. So I started off this outfit with this Adidas Originals zip up hoodie. I got this ages ago. This hoodie must be at least four years old by now, but it's in pretty good condition simply because I don't wear it that often. I've got a lot of black hoodies and a lot of black clothing, so it doesn't get used as much. Therefore, it's lasted this long. I'm wearing a white t-shirt underneath simply because I'm going through this monochrome black and white outfit. On the bottom end, I'm wearing a pair of top man fitted joggers that again, I got ages ago. And to be fair, I think these are my only pair of tracksuit bottoms left, even though they're not really real tracksuit bottoms. But yeah, yeah, these fitted bottoms get used quite a lot in my casual outfit rotation. I need to buy another pair of tracksuit bottoms or some decent joggers. So if you've got any suggestions, please leave your comments in the comment section down below. And those were the bottoms that we were wearing. And of course, on foot, because it's a casual day, because we're having a chill day, you have to have the comfiest shoes you could possibly wear, which are the Adidas Ultra Boost. So yeah, the one thing that I really like about this outfit is that everything sort of has a white and black contrast. So you've got the black zip up hoodie with white details, you've got the white stripes, the white logo and the other white logo on the back, a white t-shirt, black jogging bottoms and black shoes with a white sole. It's all about contrasting shades. Now moving on to Friday's outfit. With Friday's outfit, to be perfectly honest, I was just in the mood to wear dungarees. I didn't want to wear anything else. Nothing else felt right. I just had to wear dungarees that day. They were just calling me. So I went with a full traditional dungaree outfit, plain white t-shirt, double strapped the dungarees, pin rolled the bottom of them and finished the outfit off with my favourite pair of Air Maxes, the Air Max 96 SEs. Now the best thing about this outfit is that it doesn't take a lot of thinking, you can just throw this on. It is definitely one of those outfits that you don't really have to think about at all. The dungarees do pretty much 100% of the work for you. And those were all of our outfits of the week. To be perfectly honest, I did like pretty much every single outfit this week. My personal favorite outfit of the week was Wednesday's outfit with the turtleneck and the Alpha Industries jacket. And my least favorite outfit of the week was Tuesday's outfit with the Palace Tri-Smoke and the Supreme Cargoes simply because I'm not really used to the bright orange, but I think the more I wear it, the more ideas I'll get for outfits and hopefully it will become more usable. So let me know in the comment section down below which one of these outfits was your favorite outfit and which one of these outfit was your least favorite outfit. And if you've got any of your own outfit ideas that you wanna share, then again, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you wanna subscribe and see if more of what I do because I do a lot of fashion based stuff, lifestyle based stuff and style based stuff then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this web page here and that's everything bye